Hello World Travel Magazine viewers, benvenuti all'Hotel Eden. Today I'm going to show you my cage pepe and the spaghetti with the tomato sauce. Please follow me. So here we are, welcome to my kitchen. So we can start with um, spaghetti cashew pepper, okay? So let's start uh, to get um, the pasta. So basically you can do 80 grams to 100 grams um, per person. So obviously we have the boiling uh, water and uh, so we place the pasta in the block boiling water. So I just add a little bit of salt, okay? So let's say we can do 15 grams of salt for each liter of water. Mm -hmm. So we can start from the cashew paper. So we have a, a little bit of, of uh, olive oil, white wine, black pepper, curcuma, and um, pecorino cheese mixed with a little bit of parmigiano cheese. So basically what I do, I do 60% of pecorino cheese and 40% of parmigiano to get a little bit of sweetness because the pecorino is quite salty. So let's start from, um, from the sauce. So we get a little bit of a heat. We put a touch of uh, extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to add black pepper. So we paste. It comes nice and powdery. And then we'll uh, we add a little bit of uh, pepper with uh, with the oil. So you can see we have to be really careful when we heat the oil, you know, because the olive oil it's uh, nice and uh, healthy. We have a uh, you know a lot of vitamin E, but it can become toxic. So if we heat it up too much, it becomes, uh, we get the smoke points and becomes poison. So we have to really be careful in how we, we warm it up. In. So you can see um, the pepper with the, with the heat, with the oil, it breaks down all the structure of the oil, of the, sorry, of the pepper, and it becomes um, nice and flavory. So all the flavor of the pepper comes comes out. So you can see all the, the flavor of the black pepper and uh, we add a little bit of uh, white wine. Okay, so we leave to evaporate a little bit and then we're going to add uh, a little bit of uh, chicken stock, light chicken stock or you can add uh, even a, a vegetable stock, so we can make it uh, vegetarian as well. And um, here we have uh, a little bit of um, uh, pecorino and um, cheese sauce. So let's say we, uh, we take some uh, uh, cream, we bring it to 60 degrees, so we do 100 grams of cream and we do 100 grams of uh, pecorino cheese and uh, we bring everything on 60 degrees and we leave it to melt it so and uh, that's the result so we're going to add a little bit of that so the sauce will be nice and creamy so on this stage uh, by the time we wait for the for the pasta is cooking I want to talk to you a little bit of uh, my uh, philosophy of cooking so it took me 25 years to understand who I am and uh, where I wanted to go and uh, what, 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 uh, what is my cooking. So I based it on five pillars. So you have uh, innovation, well-being, the ingredients, the flavor and the art. So innovation means uh, researching, means to understand what I'm doing, to question myself and to have the answer on the other side. So, and uh, thanks to the, to the knowledge, we can take care about our body. So the well-being for me is not a fashion, but it's something very important. And, um, and there is one tip of this recipe as well, which I'm going to tell you in a minute. 
And uh, the ingredient is very important as well, but um, sometimes, you know, people they ask me, why put the ingredient as a third part of uh, your philosophy, you know, which is the most important, uh, we always say. And it's very simple. Let's go back on the extra virgin olive oil, which I was saying before, and we heat it up in the pan, and we can reach the small point. So if we reach the small point, it becomes toxic. So what's the point to have the best quality extra virgin olive oil, which is full of vitamin E, and uh, on the other side, we just destroyed it without even knowing. So innovation, knowledge, to understand you know, why we're doing things, and we taking care about the ingredient itself and our, our body as well, so we can valorize the ingredient on the nutrition side as well. And then we pass it to the flavor side, so the acidity, the crunchiness, to understand why, you know, to, to, to have different texture on the dish, so creamy, crunchy, so it's a lot of things to, to think about when we are uh, creating uh, a dish. And then the, the art, so we want to see something beautiful, you know, how we cut the vegetable or how we plate you know the dish and we're going to see with the spaghetti how we place it in the in the in the plate okay so at this stage i'm going to add uh, some turmeric in the pasta as i was saying before the healthy side is very important for me so the classic cashew pepper is with um, black pepper pecorino cheese and that's all so it's a very old dish tradition but in this case, uh, you know, uh, thanks to the science, the discovery that the turmeric is very healthy. So I said to myself, why do not add a little bit of um, turmeric in the cashew paper? And in a case, uh, the, um, the turmeric uh, start to give you, you know, we can absorb uh, um, all the, 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 the nutrition of the turmeric. We have to um, eat it with the black pepper. So that's why the cashew pepper, black pepper, pecorino cheese, and uh, I said, you know, I can add a little bit of turmeric, and it become a, a very nice and uh, uh, um, taste. So it's one of my popular dish at Il Giardino restaurant. So here we are, and um, so we get the pasta. So you can see the spaghetti. It depends on the type of spaghetti you buy. So this it, would, it took um, five six minutes to cook, and uh, what did, what I do I like um, to cook the pasta very al dente, and then to cook it for three four minutes in the sauce. So for two reasons: one is going to soak it with um, the the sauce itself, and then uh, the amid from the pasta will go together with the sauce, and you get uh, a nice creamy sauce. So you can see we're going to add a little bit more uh, chicken stock or veg stock, up to you. So we give a little bit more heat. So here we are, you can see it starts to be already, you can uh, see the creamy. Okay, just you know, very gentle, and um, there's one more thing which I, you know, I want to, to, to tell you. When you cook the pasta, it's okay to have it nice and al dente when you remove it from the boiling water, but not too al dente. If it's too al dente, when you get it uh, in the sauce and you will, uh, you know, mix it like this, you can break it down all the spaghetti. Okay, so you can see the pasta is uh, no, been soaked in the sauce. Okay, so we put off the heat. Okay, so and we leave it to rest for you know ten seconds. So the temperature we drop down. And you can see we to add a little bit more stuff. In this case, we're going to add uh, the pecorino cheese mixed with the parmigiano. 
as I was saying before, the pecorino is very salty. You know, it's, uh, the nature of this uh, cheese is like that, quite salty. So what I did, I split it with the parmigiano to have a little bit of more sweetness. So you can see now, you know, we melted up the, the pecorino. Okay, in this stage you have to be very careful, otherwise, uh, you know, you wouldn't get this creamy sauce. If you, the heat is too high or the temperature of the pasta itself is very high. So basically, even here on 60 degrees, we did perfect. So here we are, you can see the, the cheese melted. Okay, in this case we can uh, start to finish our dish. So we have we're going to help each other with a big spoon. See the sauce is very creamy. As I was saying before, you know the 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 art is very important. So the eye, you know, we want to see something beautiful. So in this case, we're going to add a little bit of uh, black pepper on the pasta. Here we are. Enjoy the pasta from Roma. Okay, so now we're doing the spaghetti with the pomodoro fresco, tomato. Allora, so what do we do? We have um, extra virgin olive oil, and then we have um, some fresh garlic, some uh, datterini, like uh, cherry tomatoes. Obviously, you can use, uh, you know, uh, three, four type of tomatoes uh, in season. So at the moment we have this uh, datterino, which is a kind of cherry tomatoes, which is nice and ripe. So what do we do? Again, be careful on, uh, on the quantity of the oil uh, you are using and uh, how you heat it up. So with a uh, low heat, we can add uh, a little bit of um, garlic. So we can, uh, you know, give a little bit of uh, perfume of garlic, which in uh, spaghetti with a fresh tomato is very important. It gives you this um, flavor, nice flavor. So you can see, I feel it already. Okay, in this stage we can add the, the pomodoro fresco. So you can see at this stage as well, we want to caramelize a little bit the tomato. So, because if you caramelize a little bit, the sugar is in the tomato, is, um, is changing the, uh, the, the flavor of the sauce itself. So that's why the, um, we call it in Italian soffritto. It's, uh, it's, you know, we do it for when we do the pasta. But in this case, you know, be careful of how you eat the extra virgin olive oil. So you can see, the, you know, it's really ready the, the tomato. Okay, let's say you're doing the caramel. It's uh, not the same, uh, you know, a touch. You can, you can feel the same uh, perfume. So, okay, on this stage, we can add uh, a little bit of uh, vegetable stock. So the vegetable stock, what I do, I do a little bit of uh, celery, carrots, onion, and um, a few tomato, and we boiling for a couple of hours. And, uh, if you like, you can uh, add a little bit of mushrooms, and um, you know, a little bit of basil at the end, you will infuse like the last 10 minutes. 
So you can see we are, uh, we bring the, after we, you add the, the um, vegetable stock, you know, we bring it to boil and um, the pasta, it's uh, nice and al dente. So you can see the, the garlic uh, perfume. You know, we, we, um, it's nice to feel it. Okay, in this case, we're going to remove the, the skin of the garlic. The garlic itself as well. As if you like it to eat it, you can leave it to death. A little bit more, more stock. You know, there are, there are uh, other ways to do the pasta with tomato sauce, but I think it's the, you know, the nicer one is to fill the fresh tomato. Um, you can use tomato in thin as well, but it's not the same. You know, um, when you eat, you using. Uh, these uh, cherry tomatoes is really, really powerful in uh, tomato taste. Okay, on this stage we can uh, add some basil as well. So just, uh, I just chopped it uh, uh, before. And as well, you can do it uh, really at the last time. Otherwise, the basil gets oxidated. You can see again here the sauce is start to be nice and creamy. Okay. Obviously, you will adjust with a little bit of stock. Now it's uh, up to you. If you like some. Parmigiano cheese in the pasta, or you can uh, leave it uh, as it is. So, what you do is basically again we remove it from the heat, we leave it to rest half a minute, okay, and uh, we can add a little bit of uh, raw extra virgin olive oil, which is very, very healthy, vitamin E, and um, you know, be careful on the quantity of the oil as well. So I would say, uh, you know, from the beginning when we do the garlic, you know, three, four grams. And again now, three, four grams is enough. The, oil, the extra virgin olive oil is very healthy, but it's still a fat, so we have to be careful on that. So you can see it's uh, you know, the pasta rests a little bit, and uh, I like the parmigiano in the pasta, so I'm going to add some. You know, normally we, you know, we add a little bit of parmigiano on the top when we eat it, but um, if you do it before, you know, you will get a nice creamy sauce, which is really, really nice. You can see it changed a little bit of uh, the color of the sauce as well. Obviously, that's the parmigiano. It becomes orange. Okay, so we are uh, we are ready. The last, you know, touch of uh, pepper, so it can be black or white, and. Um, I'm putting the black pepper or white pepper at the end because I don't want to get it burned. You now, if you want to have a, a nice result, it's important to get the pasta al dente and to leave it uh, to cook it with the tomato at least three four minutes.
creamy. So now we're going to add a little bit of uh, fresh basil. And uh, here we are. Buon assaggio.